Hey everybody, it's popping on. I'm gonna be making some natural bug spray to have in our campground store here and I just want to pop on and show you how um, we make it so you know what's in it uh, when you um, grab some of your very own. Um, I do uh, want to introduce you to the ingredients that we put in so or I put in so we use um, like super high quality essential oils and all of our um, products. Now, I'm not sponsored by doTERRA in any way, but these are the only oils that we use in our products um, that we sell here at our store. So, um, the ones that we do put in um, are going to be uh, Terra Shield, which is doTERRA's outdoor blend. Um, this one has a lot of the good stuff in it already, but we like to enhance some of it a little bit for specific reasons. Um, citronella, which many of you are familiar with. Um, peppermint, which is amazing for just about any bug warding them off. Cedar wood, particularly good for ticks. Those nasty little buggers. And then lemongrass, again, a very good bug repellent. Now we also use uh, pure witch hazel. This is 100% witch hazel. Um, you can't quite see it there, but I use a squeezy bottle um, full of the witch hazel. And we also have 100% spring water. Now you could use distilled water. Um, the reason why I do this is because I don't want any contaminants um, from any um, tap water. So you also want to make sure um, some of these oils are um, super strong and they will... Um, not be any good in plastic bottles. So I have a couple different selections here. This is a, a six ounce aluminum bottle. And this is an eight ounce glass bottle. I'm gonna show you how we make the eight ounce glass bottle. So the first thing we're going to do is take off the lid and we're going to start adding our drops. Now I add 10 drops of lemongrass Ten drops of cedar wood. Cedar wood's a little slower to come out here. Come on. Speed up this on camera because it's taking a little while here. If you're just making a mosquito spray, you don't necessarily um, need this cedar wood. I mean, it does add in, but we use this. Um, we have a lot of people that have used this for ticks and um, swear by it. I had one fella up in North Dakota when he would do his fencing, he would just come in and buy this blend from me specifically so he didn't get ticks. It was the one thing that he swore by. So I just like to add it in. We do have a lot of wooded areas here at the campground that kids go play in. So one thing that's great about this is you don't have um, the chemicals that are in a lot of the other ones. So the other bug ones. So if you want to not have to take a shower at night because you don't want those chemicals leaching into you. This is a great alternative. Another 10 drops of peppermint. So, so far we have 10 lemongrass, 10 cedar wood, and 10 peppermint. And now we're going to add 10 citronella. Twenty of the Terra Shield. We had a customer come in there, so I had to pause it. So I'm going to go back to count, and I was on eight. Alright, 
So there we have 20 Terra Shield. Now, mm, that smells so good. Now we're gonna add our Witch Hazel. Now you can measure this out um, if you wish, but I usually just um, do my best to try to get a tablespoon of Witch Hazel in here um, and guess. I've made them so many times that I kind of have an idea of how much that is, so. Now, you asked me, ask why witch hazel. You also could use alcohol if you wish. I just like using the witch hazel. Um, I, I don't really care for the dryness of alcohol, um, but what we use it for is, well, you also could use coconut oil, but a lot of times some of these sprayers get bound up by the um, thicker fractionated coconut oil. Um, so I use witch hazel because it binds the oils so that it doesn't to the water. So otherwise you would always constantly have to shake before you spray. Now I still do recommend shaking a bit before you spray, but um, this will at least um, bind it more than without having the witch hazel. So you can see how much we have about in there. That's a mixture of oils and witch hazel in there. Now I'm going to top it off with the um, spring water. So I have to pull it over here, sorry, so I can fill it up without spilling. So I'm just filling this up with water. So now we have it topped off with water. We can shake it up to bind it. And now we have our bug spray. And gosh, does it smell good and super easy to make. I have some labels to place on there. So I'll just take one of the labels and pop it on and now we have a bug spray that's ready for you guys when you come into the store so there it is super easy super quick